Hey guys, did you guys know that learning Cantonese doesn't only benefit your career in Hong Kong? Let me tell you why. Hi guys, my name is Johan and I'm from Malaysia. So growing up in Malaysia, Malaysia is a multiracial country, uh, predominantly uh, with the ethnic Malays, ethnic Chinese and ethnic Indians. So there's a huge uh, Chinese Cantonese speaking population in Malaysia. So growing up, uh, Cantonese was pretty common in Malaysia. That's how I was able to speak it. I would say that I roughly learned Cantonese when I was about seven years old, but I think maybe when I was about five years old, I was already able to understand it but couldn't speak it as well because um, TVB dramas are very popular in the Chinese speaking community in Malaysia. Uh, TVB dramas are basically a very popular te television broadcasting company from Hong Kong that films a lot of very popular. Uh, Hong Kong dramas which are very popular in the Chinese population across the globe actually. So why I learned it is because although you can speak Chinese Mandarin in Malaysia, so I grew up in Kuala Lumpur and Kuala Lumpur uh, predominantly most of the Chinese populations are Cantonese speaking. So being able to speak Cantonese makes you sound a bit more local um, and lets you know that you're from Kuala Lumpur instead of other states in the country. So learning Cantonese has definitely helped me a lot in my career because I used to work as a medical doctor in a hospital and clinical setting. So like I said, uh, there are certain communities in Malaysia that don't only speak Bahasa Melayu, but they speak uh, Cantonese Chinese, predominantly in the older Chinese generations. So being able to speak Cantonese has really helped me um, build rapport with my patients and also obtain a, more, a better clinical history when I speak to them. So uh, in that way, Cantonese has helped me a lot. So in case you guys didn't know, Cantonese is the third uh, most widely spoken Chinese language in the world with about 73 million native speakers across the globe and that not only includes Hong Kong, Macau but it also includes uh, Vancouver in Canada, New York City and even in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Cantonese is also widely used in most Chinatowns across the city so knowing Cantonese will really help you in terms of your career because it gives you access to uh, Cantonese speaking populations that are doing business across the globe. For example, if you know Cantonese in Canada, it gives you a huge plus and an advantage because you get to close out deals with um, major tech companies uh, in, from China and Hong Kong. So in case you guys find yourself in a business situation or trying to close a business deal with a Cantonese speaking business partner, here are a few common business phrases in the Cantonese uh, speaking world that you can use to help you impress your Cantonese speaking business client. So the first one, of course we're doing business, so the word is business. How do you say business in Cantonese? Sang yi, sang yi, which means business. And the second most important word that we all love is to discuss our salary. So what is salary called in Cantonese? Salary is known as san sui, san sui. And another phrase that you could ask is, does everybody agree with me? Chun bo yan tong yi, chun bo yan do tong yi. Does everyone agree? Or you could say, I completely agree to close that business deal. I completely agree. Ngo yun chun tong yi. Ngo yun chun tong yi. Or in case you don't agree, what would you say? So you can say, I'm afraid that I don't agree. Ngo hong pa ngo mho yi tong yi. Ngo hong pa ngo mho yi tong yi. And also another phrase that is very convenient to use and also um, very common in the business, business world is um, does everyone uh, have any opinions or uh, different um, ideas? You could say so let's say you are trying to arrange a meeting on a certain day of the week. For example, I would like to schedule a meeting on um, Monday. You could say, Ngo Xiong Yok Sing Kei Yat Hoi Wei. Ngo Xiong Yok 
Sing Kei Yet, which is Monday, Hoi Wui, which is to have a meeting. So guys, those are a few very helpful phrases in Cantonese that you can use during a business meeting. I hope you guys find it helpful in closing your business deal or impressing your business partner that speaks Cantonese. So believe it or not, the biggest tip I have for people wanting to learn Cantonese language is to watch as much TVB dramas as you can. Go crazy watching TVB dramas. It helps to have a basic knowledge in Mandarin Chinese and also watching TVB dramas with English subtitles so that you understand what they're trying to say when you are trying to learn Cantonese Chinese. So guys, that's all we have for our business phrases in our Cantonese language. I hope you guys close that deal with your uh, Cantonese speaking business partner and we'll see you in the next video. video. Bye.